The pro-life movement is wicked and evil as it only works to regulate abortion when, where, and how you can murder babies. We need to not regulate murder. How you doing, man? Hey. What's up? I understand what you're doing. I really do. Yeah. I understand about, you know, abortion and everything that's going with it. Uh-huh. But my question is... Sure. Why at a church? Well, um, repentance, <laughs> repentance always begins at the house of the Lord. Yeah. Okay, so if godly people won't take action to make abortion illegal, yeah. nobody else will. Like, the world loves sin, right? So yeah, the church, part of the, world. the church, like are you a Christian? I am. Okay, so what does Christianity, what should Christianity look like in a land where child sacrifice is legal? What should it look it like? Should, and it, well, no. It, it, well, we're in it, right? So what yeah. does Christianity look like in a land where child sacrifice happens every single day? Like, if you look historically in the Bible, what it looks like, because there's there's been many there's instances, been, yeah, there has. and it's bad, but right? God did put a stop to that. Well, look at Amos 5, okay? Amos is talking to, I don't know if you know, but he's talking to the Jews, yeah. his people, his followers. And he says, I hate your festivals. I hate your prayers. Though they be many, I will not listen to them. I will not hear them. Um, first, bring justice to the land and then bring your sacrifices to me. And what was going on in Amos 5? Child sacrifice was going on in the land and God hates it. And the same thing with Jeremiah. You know, he went and stood at the gates of the temple like this. You didn't go in. You know why he didn't go in? Because they'd kill him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he stood at the gates of the temple and he told him to repent of what? Of what was going on in there in in, in Jeremiah in, in Jeremiah 7? Child sacrifice. Crisis, God yeah. hates it. And he wants his people to rise up and defend the innocent, hold back those that are being led to the slaughter, be a voice for the voiceless, right? And bring justice on the land. Because like you and I, all right, let's say you and I are standing here and, and some girl's getting raped over there. Whose responsibility is it to ours. stop that? Ours. It's ours as men of the community, right? Yeah. Well, it's the Christians that are supposed to stand up and right. actually show something. Right. Because we are the people and everything. Of man, We're the people of God, right? We're the hands, the eyes, the tongues of Christ. We're actually the bride of Christ. He tells the bride what to do while he's gone. To subdue the land, right? And he tells us that in, in, the, in, the, in Genesis. Yeah. Right? He says that the gates of hell will not prevail against us. Now, most people think that the gates of hell are pressing on us and it won't prevail. But we're supposed to go prevail against it. Right? We're supposed okay. to push Satan back. We're supposed to have dominion over the land. God's yeah. given us dominion over the land. Right? 